Hi there. These are all the food hacks that we did not share in our Van Life 5 food hacks video. So hopefully some of this can apply to you and um, thanks for watching. Old fashioned sugar cubes are pretty dang cool. They're not old fashioned, they're still cool. It limits you on your sugar, you kind of get a, a feel for how many how much sugar you're having. Also, if sugar spills, it's like everywhere. And sugar cubes really don't spill. I just love sugar cubes. Uh, a problem I had on the road was bruised fruit. I would hang my bananas and then I'd bang against something or I'd lay them down and they'd get crushed. I was watching Sailing La Vagabond. They're an Australian couple that are sailing around the world. And I just noticed that they had these hanging like hammocks in their kitchen, in their galley. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I can make one of those. So now I'm going to show you how to make a banana hammock. <laughs> so what we're going to need is a pair of scissors, a mesh laundry bag, uh, and two points of contact where it's going to hang. If you go to Joanne's Fabric, you can buy mesh there. You could probably put anything up there. I just happened to, like, this is what I wanted to use was a mesh bag so I could see what was in it and plenty of airflow. I'm just gonna cut all the stuff off of it. So I'm just gonna hang it off of these two points here. Uh, uh, push it through and tie a knot on one end. It's really simple. You just use whatever materials you have. Yay! So yeah, now it's uh, just secured on that end. I'm gonna secure this one on this end. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Looks like you know what you're doing. So it just swings with the rocking of the van while you're driving. Nothing hits, nothing smashes, plenty of airflow. You could put veggies too. Oh, obviously. yeah. Yeah, whatever. Cooking stuff. It could be used for anything, really. Yeah. That's how you make a banana hammock. We use a propane toaster. It's a hack in our opinion because we always want toasted stuff and it works pretty dang good. So it just sits on top of your propane stove and you can toast whatever. Many um, pizza sauces have the same ingredients as spaghetti sauce. If you're just dining for one, you're not gonna use all your tomato sauce. In the freezer section, you can buy a frozen meal like um, a stir fry or, or an Italian dish like we did, and, and that was like no prep time at all. We just stir fry it up. Also, there's just like little cool things at Trader Joe's all the time, like these mini pad thai dishes for one, things like that. We just pour it out, stir fry it, and then you can even put it back in the container afterwards and eat it like a Chinese food dish. It's pretty cool. We like Trader Joe's a lot. Trader Joe's is great. We actually yeah. go to Trader Joe's and we buy the frozen like meal, tikka masalas and butter chickens. They have for like $4. Oh my gosh, and you just like throw it in a stir fry pan and you Everything buy Everything is in there? Everything's in there. Yeah, that's another reason. Oh, I know. Great. <laughs> Kick those on to high gear and vent that smell out. Because we cook curries and stuff sometimes. What are they doing in there? Some Indian living in there? It's like, <laughs> yeah. nope, little crazy white girl. Any other ideas? Food hacks. Just eat raw. Fresh fruit. Raw fruits and vegetables are so good for you. Dustin was on the dev team. If you had any food hacks that we didn't list in either video, please list them here. Comment below and share with us your cool hacks. If you missed out on our first um, five food hacks video, click here. If you'd like to see our kayak adventures in Chicago with Adventures with Dustin, click here. Also, if you'd like, you can watch our travel vlog here. As always, thank you for watching. Please like if you like the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you next time.